Twelve weeks after the war began in Ukraine, Landry and Kling received a call to urgently provide ship housing on behalf of the Scottish government for thousands of arriving Ukrainian refugees. We delivered the first ship, Victoria, in Edinburgh, ten days after the budget was approved. A few weeks later, our second ship, the Ambition, was docked in Glasgow. We focused on providing Ukrainian crew, hotel staff, caterers, and security team. It was a comfort for our newly arrived Ukrainian guests to be greeted in their own language and served food that they knew and loved. A group of newly arrived grandmothers helped out by making trays of their special veronica. Our mission was to fulfill the Scottish government's super sponsor scheme. A multifaceted program of accommodation, healthcare, education, English, job training, and welfare, known as a warm Scots welcome. We repurposed meeting rooms as workspaces for government and local council staff, the Department of Work and Pensions, and National Healthcare. And what a warm Scots welcome it was! Donations came in from local families, so much so. That we were able to stock a free department store on board. In another show of local generosity, a nearby soccer stadium donated hundreds of tickets to Ukrainian refugees to see Ukraine play Scotland. Ukraine lost the game, but the host country won our hearts when a lone bagpiper saw us leaving and played the Ukraine national anthem. The children became a major focus for us, including several infants born while on board. They were scared, and most had never been on a ship before. They arrived in the summer when there was no school and with energy to burn. Their parents were stressed from the journey, and the ships became their playground. With over 800 children in our care, we needed to act, so we created areas for toddlers, small children, adolescents, and teens. And recruited refugees with childcare experience. We found leaders in Natalia and Olga, and together developed teams on both ships. There was no funding for this program, so Landry and Kling created a nonprofit, Mission of Innocence, to cover administration and staffing costs for a variety of activities. Through visual and performance art, the children expressed their fears and feelings about leaving their homeland. The ships were in place for 12 months, during which time we provided temporary housing for over 3,000 families. When the ships left, it was bittersweet. As the Ukrainian community was rehomed throughout Scotland, Mission of Innocence continues to thrive in Scotland in the local community, and now will expand to serve other parts of the UK for families seeking asylum. We are proud of the work we've done. If you are in a position to help, we will gladly accept your donation. 100% of the money that you send to us will go directly to children's programming. You will be helping children who are displaced by global conflict, forced migration, and environmental disasters. We'd love to have you join us. Please help us.